I've built eight different SaaS applications over the last three years using the exact same tech stack. But for my latest product that I just released, I actually changed a huge portion of my tech stack. And I want to tell you what exactly I changed and why I did so. So I actually have an entire video dedicated to the exact tech stack that I use to build out my various applications. But for a very quick summary of what I use, I typically use Clerk for the authentication and I use Planet Scale for my SQL, my database provider on the back end. And then I actually build the application using Next.js and I host everything on Vercel. And the part of my tech stack that I changed is my database provider. Like I said before, I was using Planet Scale and I used it because it has an amazing developer experience with really good features like database branching, which lets you test out new schemas in the database and see if you can safely merge it in into your production database, as well as data backups, rollbacks. And the number one reason why I use Planet Scale above all of that was the fact that it had an incredibly generous free tier. I believe at the time, the free tier had over like a billion row reads per month for free, which is a lot of row reads. I actually haven't built a SaaS application that needed that much scale quite yet. I mean, that's a separate topic for another video. But a couple of months ago, Planet Scale announced that they were getting rid of their free plan and then the base price was starting at 40 bucks a month. 40 bucks a month is a lot of money. And luckily for my previous applications that are running on Planet Scale and that are still alive and making money, they are actually making money right now. So I'm still running on Planet Scale, but it's just way too much work to migrate to another database provider. But for my latest app that I just built, which is called the Content Marketing blueprint.com which is a database of case studies of successful businesses that have grown off of social media marketing and i read case studies breaking down the exact social media strategies that they use to grow their accounts my co-founder and i find all the most interesting accounts out there break down their marketing strategies so that you can apply the same strategies that they're using to your business and your product as well with this product i decided to replace planet scale and use superbase instead now i have actually used superbase before in the past just to play around with it and it was a good platform but i didn't love it either i felt like the developer experience it still needed some work. It still needed some work, especially with the documentation. It wasn't always quite clear on how to do certain things, but it's probably been around a year and a half to two years since I last used Superbase. And now that I use it for my latest application, I gotta say it's gotten a lot better. I do like it a lot and I really do enjoy how everything is packed into one. You have your database right there. You have your authentication as well. You have row level security, which I really love as a developer because I never have to worry about people getting inappropriate access to certain databases. And the best part is the fact that they still have their free tier and it is still incredibly generous. I still haven't had to pay any amount of money to upgrade into the pro tier quite yet. And the content marketing blueprint already has users and it's actively generating revenue as well. Now, my biggest complaint last time from using Superbase was the fact that I did find the developer documentation a little bit lacking. Like whenever I wanted to do certain things, I had to do a pretty good amount of digging to figure out how exactly do I do this? For example, my biggest complaint was figuring out how to write row level security rules. When I wanted to write more complex row level security rules, Superbase just did not really have that available for me. They have really good templates that you can start off with, but I do feel like a lot of the documentation is written under the assumption that you know a lot about Postgres because Superbase under the hood is powered by pretty much everything Postgres related, but I'm not a Postgres expert. So I did find it a little difficult to do certain things to find the right documentation to write stuff like really good granular row level security rules or database triggers such that when a new entry is written into a one of your tables it executes another function to execute some other background job they have great basic tutorials but the more granular and the more complicated they get the harder it is to find those resources but overall i gotta say i'm pretty happy with the change and i also mentioned in my previous tech stack i would use clerk as my authentication provider but superbase also provides authentication out of the box so i have migrated over to using superbase authentication to power everything under the hood but the best part about Clerk and Superbase is the fact that they can actually talk to each other and you can still use Clerk as your front end authentication provider and it can just sync with the authentication table within Superbase as well. And while my app currently doesn't use Clerk authentication and one of the future features I do plan to add is some support to have Clerk be the authentication provider and have Superbase being connected to it as well and keeping those two databases in sync. Once again, Superbase is off, it works, but it works a lot less out of the box. I really had to create my whole authentication flow by scratch almost. Whereas for Clerk, you literally just copy and paste their component and it handles all the authentication for you. You don't really get that experience with Superbase. Now I do think that you can do the vast majority of things in Clerk in Superbase, but it requires a lot more code that you have to write out yourself. A lot less things work out of the box with Superbase. But at least for now, I'm happy to pay that cost of writing some more code 
and building out everything a little bit more from scratch, doing a little bit of a deeper dive into various documentation to have everything streamlined into one platform. And most importantly, having a platform that provides me with so much things for $0 a month for completely free. So that is the big tech stack change that I made. I essentially got rid of Planet Scale and I migrated everything over to Superbase for my database and my authentication providers. If you want me to do a full in-depth review about using Superbase and comparing it to other tech stacks, let me know, I'm more than happy to do that. Leave a comment down below if you want me to do a full review about Superbase and comparing the developer experience of it compared to other things like my previous tech stack of Planet Scale and Clerk. Let me know. That's about it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.